Morning, VTW. This is VREAQ. Victoria Mason calling Rangoon. Hello, Rangoon. Reporting my position. I'm flying over the ruins of Angkor in Cambodia. VREAQ, bye. Mr. Moto, Mr. Moto. Yes. Me find ancient bone here. Also. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this ancient relic contains my toothbrush. Uh huh. <laughs> I must have dropped it. Conjim Lum. That won't hurt you. It's only an airplane. Hey, look at that baby. He must weigh a ton. Studios will be fighting to buy this stuff. If you don't stop rocking this boat, they'll have to buy a crocodile to get it. Help! 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 Oh, now look what you did. You scared him away. Why didn't you wrestle with him and let me get a good shot of it? Listen, I've worked with seals and I wish you to act with lions. But if you think I'm going to play a love scene with a crocodile, you're crazy. I was up there with him. You know who that is? No. It's Victoria Mason. She's flying around the world. Oh, yeah. I read about her in the Saigon newspaper. You gotta grab a flash for the newsreel. By the time we get back to the film, she'll be an old lady. Look! She's in trouble. The ship's on fire. Come on, hurry up, guys. On the Mason crash. Well, we can name our own figure. I hope we find her alive. Look, there's smoke over there. Come on, you mug. Step on it. Help me unfasten it. Quite a dramatic arrival. Uh, gas line caught fire. I bailed out just in time. Well, I guess that's the end of my flight. Pardon me, but what was your destination when this unfortunate accident occurred? I'm Victoria Mason. I was flying around the world. You'll forgive me, but we are so out of touch with events here in Tong Moi. Permit me to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Moto. What are you doing in a country like this? I've been excavating in these ancient ruins in a pursuit of uh, archaeology. You boy die, Kundak. Now the Guai devils even come from the sky. Oh, Miss Mason, may I introduce Boko? He's the high priest and a very learned man. How do you do? Is there a village nearby? There is a royal village of Tong Moi. Would you mind taking me there? Oh, I'm sure Raja Ali will welcome Miss Mason's uh, unexpected arrival. His Highness will be honored. Follow me. Oh, Mr. Moto, I wouldn't let any of your men get too near the wreck. The gas tanks might explode. Oh, so? I think the danger is over now. Goodbye. Are you 
You wait here. I'm so glad to see. Where is she now? In the village. We'll take a run over there after we get a few feet of this crack up. Come on, get out of there, will you? This is no X ray machine. Oh, pardon me. May I ask where you gentlemen are from? Chicago. I'm from Cactus Bend. That's oh, in... yes, in Arizona. You mean to say you've heard of it? I studied the fossilized tracks of the dinosaur in that vicinity. That's enough of that, Chick. Can we get to this village through the jungle? It will be easier to follow the river and uh, safer. Then we'll take the river. We got room for you if you'd like to go along with us. Thank you, but I have work to do here. I'm an archaeologist. Well, see you later. Perhaps. What do you make of that grave digger? If I was casting a horror picture, I'd have him play the murderer. Your Highness, Walko is bringing the white woman. How dare you interrupt me like this? I almost had my problem solved. Did you say the white woman? Yes, Kong Long. Have her brought in. His Highness, the Rajali of Trong Moy. I have been told of your miraculous escape, which pleased me very much. Thank you, Your Highness. Allow me to extend the hospitality of my country. Oh, you're very kind, but if you'll furnish me with guides and supplies, I'll stop back to Saigon. I had hoped that you would be my guest for a couple of weeks. Well, uh, uh, really, Your Highness, I I'm sorry, but... Unfortunately, you will have to remain, for a while at least. My guides are away on a hunting trip. They will be gone for a week at least. Your Highness, we can send the white woman to her destination by canoe. No, no, we must not risk it, Bokor. The river is very dangerous. I'm sure that Miss Mason will find her stay in Tong Moy very pleasant. No, Your Highness. We shall try to make her as comfortable as possible. Kima here will show you to the royal guest house. Yuk no, Thank you, Your Highness. Come on, come on, gangway, gangway. It's okay, boys, it's okay. We're just gonna get a shot of Miss Mason. Yes, sir, we got a first card right in our pocket. Show me a letter. What is the meaning of this? Who are these men? Mighty Weston, American Society of Cinematographers. Chick Davis is the name, formerly of Actors' Equity. Hi, Miss Mason. Glad you're all right. Where on earth did you boys pop up from? We ran our way up the river when you crashed. By what right do you enter my country? Now, don't get sore, Your Honor. This is a big scoop for us. Scoop. Keep your pants on, Kane. We get the picture. You had a destiny, His Highness, the Raja Ali of Tong Moy. Oh, pardon me. Move over, will you, Raja? Now, if you'll just stand here, Miss Mason. Oh, don't you think I would powder my nose first? I should say not. The worse you look, the better. Say, I've got a swell idea. Get in next to Miss Mason, will you, Roger? Now shake hands with her and give her that big old smile. You know, you're welcoming her to Tong Moy, see? You mean I am to appear in the cinema? That's right, King. Now let's see that personality. This sorcery is not permitted. Take your machine and go. Oh, now look, General. There's no devil in box, just a movie camera. Look, Miss Mason, will you tell Dracula there that we're not going to hurt anybody? My people think you bring evil upon him through this magic. His Majesty knows better than that, don't you, Roger? Why, of course he does. Here, honey, you get in the picture, too. Step right up there. Stop! She's the Roger's favorite wife. 
It's all right, Boko. Let them proceed. I warn you, it is displeasing to the gods to have the white man capture your image. The cinema is not dangerous. That's still on a uh, what, what shall I do? Miss Mason has just crashed in the jungle. You meet her. You shake hands with her. You give her the old welcoming stuff. You got it? <laughs> okay, action. Uh, uh, I welcome you to Tong Moi. Good? That's swell. Talk it up, old king. It was indeed a pleasure to have saved your life. Kima! She's dead. What happened? The white devils have killed your favorite wife with their machine. Who did? What? We didn't have anything to do with it. But, but they couldn't have done it. Take them away. You're nutty. What is the cause of the excitement, please? The Raja's wife just dropped dead. Oh, so? Those newsreel men were making some pictures, and she just fell over. I warned them, but no one would listen. Take the machine. The high priest here thinks she was killed by magic from the camera. Tell the Raja it isn't possible. Everything is possible here in the Orient. You can't let anything happen to them. Kima. Oh, it's, it's dreadful, I know, but those men had nothing to do with her death. That is for Boko to decide. Tonight I shall write my report to the French commissioner. Come. What will you do to them? They shall have a trial. The gods will decide whether or not they are guilty. Can't you do something? I'm very sorry, but I find it wise never to interfere with the customs of other people. Come. I will show you to the guest house. Have the body removed at once. Young boy, Yedi. Wait, please. Isn't this a fine stone? It belonged to one of my wives. Poor dear, she fell in love with one of my gods. I gave her a beautiful funeral. This would look lovely on you, yes. I have decided. Well, that's very kind of you. But about those men, are you going to let a superstitious priest make his own laws? I haven't much authority anymore. The French allow me to keep this small kingdom as long as there is peace. And if I don't humor Boko, there may be dissension among the people. Are you happy in your new quarters? Oh, yes, thank you. But won't you please do something? Yes. Allow me to provide you with some other clothes. Well, I'd much prefer you'd help those men. Well, why are you so interested in them? Well, only because the charge is so ridiculous. Well, don't trouble your pretty little head about such trivial matters. I'll speak to Boko on their behalf in the morning. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. Good night. Good night. Get away from me! Oh! His flesh burns. What did you expect, you dirty rat? By the test of the fire, the white devils are guilty. Oh, Siva the destroyer, the decision is thine. These cursed unbelievers have been tried and found guilty. If their death will be displeasing to you, send us a sign. The gods do not answer. Take the prisoners. Where are you? What are you going to do to us? Come on, you speak English. Tell us. It's a well. You're not going to throw us down there? Naga! 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 What is it? it smells like film. Look. Unjo Adaulai. Who are you? 
You profane this holy place with these strangers. Take them away. Who dares give me orders? I am the high priest of Siva. You saw the sign of the fiery Naga. The gods are angry. Remove these white men. Who are you, old man? I do not know you. Of course you do not. But I know you. Bokor, you are a false priest. You speak lies, old fool. Where do you come from? I am on a long pilgrimage from the Himalayas. My body is feeble, but my eyes are sharp. So sharp that I can see through walls and the deceit of men. Will you not perform a deed of sorcery so that we may see and believe? We of the higher knowledge disdain the tricks of conjurers. Or perhaps you do not know the ancient secrets. Yao, bring the round basket. Niam lolai. You may have good use for your knowledge. Shall I open it? Yes. Stop it! Stop it! Snake charming is an inferior art. In my country, it is done to amuse the feeble-minded. If we ever get out of here alive, we ought to sign him up for life. Now you try it, Bokor. No, you are demon. No, only an old pilgrim with a slight knowledge of true magic. Unbind these men and take them back to the village. But they are murderers. The karma of blood is blood. Freedom. Light eye. Much obliged, mister. Say, would you mind uh, doing some of those stunts in the daylight so we get a few pictures? Go before the wrath of the gods overtakes you. Okay, he was just asking. Are you coming to the village with us? I would meditate alone. I suppose now that you have your camera back, you'll be traveling on. Not for a while yet. What are you doing? Checking the focus. Well, may I look? Sure. I've always wanted to know what you see through these gadgets. You don't see anything through there. It isn't set. Oh. No, not there. Over here. Well, thanks. I don't see a thing. Well, no wonder you're closing the wrong eye. There. Oh, now I see. But they're standing on their heads. Yeah, I know. You mean things always look upside down through this? Uh-huh. Especially lovebirds. I suppose you're quite an authority on love. Well, sure. That's why I'm here. The Raja sent for me to get a few pointers. I should think after what happened last night, you'd want to get out of here. Well, what about you? Well, the Raja's promised to supply me with guides back to Saigon. See, I don't like the way he's stalling you. Why don't you get packed and uh, we'll take you back to Saigon in our canoe. Good morning, Mr. Marty. Good morning, Miss Rick. Hello. Hello, Mr. Marty. I'm so glad to find you alive. Thanks. I've heard of your rather unusual experience last night. You were taken to a hidden temple in the forest, I believe. That's right. I'm very much interested in that temple. There's no record of it in any of my books yet. I've heard it is an excellent example of Khmer architecture. Well, I wouldn't know. I was more interested in staying out of the well. I'm so sorry you didn't see the interior. I've never been able to secure... 
permission to explore it. You see, my museum would pay very well for any information, such as uh, pictures. You mean you'd buy some shots if we could get them? I'd be more than delighted. We'll leave this morning. We mustn't do that. Why not? They'd kill you if they caught you there. They'll never catch us. We'll take a back way through the jungle. Good morning, Mr. Chick. Well, well, everything's here, except a couple of cases of film that are missing. Hey, where'd you get the fancy outfit? Present from the Raja. Like it? Yeah. Come on, Chick, pack up. We're going on location. Right away? Yeah, we're gonna get some shots from Mr. Moto. You'll be very careful, of course, won't you? Hey, where are we going? Uh, don't worry. Chick and I have been in tougher spots than this before. Oh, so? I don't like the way you said that. Oh, let's get out of here, all of us. What you got? Catch a beetle? No. What is it? Oh, this? <laughs> it's a poison dart from a blowgun. Very interesting. That's how the ratchet's wife was killed. When did you find this out? Yesterday, when you were being taken to prison. You mean to say you were going to let Bokar kill us when he knew about this dart all the time? I wish to keep my own head on my shoulder. Would you like to keep it as a souvenir? Please. Good day. Good day. And good luck with the pictures. Lovable character. Marty, don't go to that temple. Temple? I'd rather stay right here. There's something about those ruins Mr. Moto wants to find out. And it isn't archaeology. I don't care what he wants the picture for. We're going to get those shots. That's the last thing we do. <laughs> it probably will be. Come on, Chick. See you later. Maybe. Look, Chick. I used to know an undertaker looked like that. down, you guys, wouldn't you? And nervous enough as it is. What was that? Uh, that's a jungle bird. Oh, it sounded like somebody getting their throat cut. Come on, Chick. Boy, I was sure scared for a minute. Hey, Marty. Just rest a minute, will you? I'm dragging. We must be near the temple now. Oh. Hey, Chick, look. Cute little fella. What is it? I don't know. Oh, me. Listen, something's following us. Wait. Well, let's go on, shoot it. Don't let it sneak up and bite us. It's Vicky. <sighs> we almost took you for a hyena or something. Oh, thanks. What are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd like to see the temple, too. Listen, young lady, you're going back. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to see all the sights while I'm here. But it's dangerous. Not while I'm with you, Doug. Come on, we better get started. I'll carry this. You would. Oh. Look, will you go back like I told you to? No. Every time a dame tags along, something happens. No! Is the camera all right? I don't know. Wait till I get out from under it. Hey, where am I? You're in a tiger pit. Well, I bet I got here before the tiger. Get me out of here! Hand up that camera. Hey, I missed these spikes by about an inch. Come on, Marty, let's go back. What's the use of going back? There's a temple right over there. Come on. That's 
the well ever going to toss us into? Hey, Chick, look down here. Skeletons. One of those might have been us. Something uncanny about this place. Yeah, and spooky, too. Just think. This temple has stood here in the jungle, lost for centuries. I wonder who built it. What happened to the people? Who were they? Mm, who cares? Let's get this shot and get out of here. Where do you want this thing? Right up here, Chick. Yeah, always the hard way with you. Take a look at that composition. Oh, let's do our raven when we're home safe in a projection room, will you? eating you. Look. Bow! It's the same kind of dart to kill the Raja's wife. Careful, it's probably poison. Here, take it. What for? I'm no dart collector. I bet you there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, Ixnay, old Gobo. Hey, you ought to be careful when you're shooting those harpoons. Are you not satisfied with one escape from the wrath of Siva? We was only making flickers, Reverend. That's the guy who did all the magic tricks. This holy place is forbidden to unbelievers. Go before I call down the vengeance of the gods upon you. Hey! Why, you old son of a I was going to throw you after him. Now, wait a minute, Marty. Use your head. Don't, oh, Marty. All right, let me alone. Come on, we're washed up here for good. Pokor, remember, my eyes can see through rocks as well as walls. The timing. And our eyes have seen you, learned one. You do not guard the temple well when strangers are allowed to pry into the secrets of the past. We do our best, Guruji. I do not think the whites will venture here again. And what of the other? The stranger who calls himself Moto. Even now he digs up the graves of the ancient ones. We can do nothing. He travels under the protection of the French. May not this man die? He risk death and destruction for all of us at the hands of the white soldiers? In my country, we have ways of dealing with such godless ones. <laughs> Guruji, you are greater than I. Will you not rid us of this man who profanes the sacred places? Do you fear to slay him? I may not risk it. Leave me then, and fear no more. And you will kill him? When the sun rises on another day, you shall not be troubled by this unbeliever. Go now, my son. I would consult the gods. Our friend the Guru has played into our hands.
Your Highness. You knew, Your Highness. That should be enough. These foreign birds are not such difficult targets. So it's Boko. Well, I shall continue to play the fool for a while longer. When the time comes, Boko will discover who is the stupid one. What do you think of my party? Well, I, I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> it's all arranged for you, my dear. Hey, you're missing the floor show. Tonight, I outdo myself. I have saved a great surprise for the last course. Where's Mr. Moto? Wasn't he invited? Aren't you interested in my surprise? Well, if you tell me now, it won't be a surprise. Gobo's got it over him like a tent. Clever, isn't he? Raja, if it's tricks you like, I got a couple that'll kill you. You don't have to go that far. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. It's a dinger. Has anybody got a watch I can borrow? Uh, oh, it's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Where? Any kind of a watch. You may have mine, but please be careful. It's a gift from Napoleon III to my grandfather, and I prize it very highly. Oh, don't worry about it, Roger. Are those real rubies? Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me have a handkerchief, Marty. No, listen. Oh, shake. I can do it, wet blanket. Give me a handkerchief. Now, first, I, I wrap the watch in the handkerchief. Uh-huh. See? <laughs> and then, and then I dunk it in the palm wine. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Into the palm wine. Then I give it to someone to hold so you know I'm not fooling. I shall be delighted to offer my assistance. I'm so sorry to be late. Will you please accept my humble apologies? Please, sit down. Good evening. Our guest here is about to astound us with his magic. Mr. Moto, will you hold that? I'll get a rock. Ah, there it is. Here. Now, hit the watch with the rock. Go ahead. Hit it hard. Hard? Sure. Oh, hit it again. Here, give it to me. I'll give it a good smack. Now. Get <laughs> it. Seize the charlatan! Take him away! Wait, please. Shouldn't you return his highness watch? <laughs> you owe me a watch. Sure, anything. How much? One dollar. 
<laughs> you look upset, Poco. No, it is nothing. Something you ate, perhaps? My dear people, I have chosen this occasion to make an important announcement. As you know, a vacancy exists in my royal harem. I am pleased to bestow upon our distinguished guest, Miss Victoria Mason, the title of Rani Victoria I. May I present my next wife? I realize what an honor has been bestowed upon me, and I, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I can only say that I will try to be a good Ronnie to the people and for the people of Tong Moy. Did you hear what I heard? Well, for a minute, I thought she promised to marry the guy. Your people don't seem to be very pleased. They're too happy to speak. My dear people, this is an occasion for feasting and merrymaking. In honor of our distinguished guests from across the sea, I've had a truly accidental dish prepared. First home cooked meal I've seen since we left Frisco. <laughs> Dead pigeon. now, and after you've killed him, come to the temple. The Guru has failed us. We must take it ourselves. I am curious to know what I shall find among Mr. Motto's effects. Sleep well, Mr. Motto. Wait for me. Mr. Morrow. Mr. Morrow. Mr. Morrow.
you see what I got? I'm not interested. All right, stay sore then. His gal turned him down to be Mrs. Raja. <laughs> Hey, Marty! Marty! What are you doing? Packing. We're leaving here. I just saw Vicky on the trail to the temple. I'm not interested. Booker and his stooge are trailing right behind her, and they're not out for exercise. Whatever she does is her own business. If Booker catches her, he'll throw her in the well. Nah. Oh, look, Marty, she's a good kid. Now, we ought to do something to help her, even if she is going to marry the Raja. Listen, she isn't going to marry the Raja. If you don't hurry, she won't marry anybody. All right, you get on the river and find our canoe. I'll go to the temple. Be careful. Don't worry about me. The Yanks are coming. I was merely taking a walk. I didn't intend to disturb anything. I do not believe you. Who sent you? No one. You will save yourself much trouble by answering now. What is your connection with the Japanese, Mr. Moto? I don't know anything about him. We shall see. Yeah, bring your instruments. What are you doing? Who is this white woman? She's an accomplice of Moto, who would help him defeat our purpose. She refuses to answer my questions. You are a fool, Boko. You will never learn her secrets by such clumsy methods. I'm certain she will talk, Guruji. She will lie. With her dying breath, she will lie. Stand aside. In the ancient monasteries of the roof of the world, the wise ones teach ways of forcing the truth from unwilling lips. O Mani Padme Hum. O Mani Padme Hum. Sleep. Sleep. Be afraid. Pretend to sleep. I'm Moto. Sleep. Answer yes to all my questions. Sleep. Sleep. White woman, are you truly what you pretend to be? Yes. Yes. Is your interest in our temples nothing but innocent curiosity? Yes. Let her alone! Stand back! Look out, Marty! Find the white devil! I'm not injured. Let me resume the questioning. Perhaps you should rest, Holy One. I prefer to use our uh, familiar methods on this man. Boca, fire burn down by river. Quiet. It is Zimmerman, like a signal fire. What is this signal fire of which you speak? Have patience, Guruji. You will soon learn. Tell the men to start unloading. 
All right, boys. Get into shore. Hey! Who are you? What do you want? My buddies are some kind of a jam with the natives. Him and Vicky Mason, the flyer. Come on, we gotta hurry. What's the trouble? Where are all these people? Over there in the temple? There where the, where the fire's burning. Come on. All right. Tell the man to follow us. Bring the cases. Head up, boy. Come on. This way. He'll refuse to speak, Miss Mason. All right, I'll tell you if you let him go. Speak then. Stick him up, all of you. Am I glad to see you? I brought some pals to help us out. Stand up against that wall. That's telling them, Skipper, make them like it. I am talking to you. Say, what is the. Get over there, against that wall. This fool led us here to save his friends. They're all spies. The girl has agreed to speak. Put those cases over there in the corner. Who's the old man? He's one of us. What connection can a white man have with the high priest of Siva? Captain Zimmerman has been kind enough to provide us with certain necessary equipment. There's not a load at the boat. Then have your men bring it at once. Bring the rest of the ship. Our business with the captain is almost concluded. I trust it has been satisfactory. More than satisfactory. And I will be going after I get my pay. It is ready, Captain Zimmerman. You paid him well. He has served his purpose. Now our day begins. We shall not rest until we have driven every foreigner from Asia. The signal fires are burning. The drums are sending out their messages across the mountains. At dawn, the hill tribes will gather here and arm themselves. We will overthrow the weakly Raja who stands in our way. The day of deliverance is at hand. Let us waste no further time, Yao. This one first. Get away from here or I'll kick your teeth in. This is too merciful. The death of a thousand cuts might be more suitable. We shall save that for this infidel. Strike! Mr. Moto, help me! Moto! They've killed Captain Zimmerman. Come! This leads to a secret way out. It's barred. We'll have to hold them off. Come. They're coming back. I hope one of you gentlemen can operate this instrument. Give it to me. I wasn't in the Marines for nothing. Here's one. You are familiar with those type parts. And here. To you, Miss Mason. You knew I was a secret agent from the beginning, didn't you? Let's see, I suspected. Your airplane crash was admirably done, but you should have disposed of the flares you started the fire with. Well, we're even. 
You didn't conceal the map of this temple. Did you? Of course not. I intended you to find it. What? My mission was to find and destroy this base. I presume yours is similar? Yes, the British intelligence service heard rumors of an uprising. With Burma so close to Tong Moy, they decided to send me here on a secret investigation. Holy smoke. He's a spy, she's a spy. I suppose the rest of these munitions are hidden in one of the underground passages marked on your map. Yes, there's a large powder magazine directly beneath us. Hey, bring another bell. I'm almost out. Please make this blue count. That's all there's left. What? What do you mean? There's cases of them. Yes, but the wrong caliber. They won't fit these guns. We have most of the ammunition. Their bullets will soon be gone. Lord, shot! Please, Mr. I think you better find it here. Let me see. Here, tie a string around it. I can shoot with one mitt. Do I simply press the trigger? Yeah, and try and hit something. You'll get the hang of it, all right. It is a shame we have so little ammunition. Too bad you haven't got some more of our film, Mr. Porter. You might be able to scare them away with another fireworks trick. There's some of it left. Perhaps I can find a use for it. Take my place. Them Nipponese sure are peculiar birds. You and your men attack the front of the temple. The others follow me. arranging an experiment which may help to save our lives. Come on, boys! Let him have it! You saw your signal fires, Bokor, and I knew their meaning. You thought I was unaware of what you were plotting. But I knew you had my wife killed. I knew that Zimmerman was bringing munitions here to you. I knew everything. Now you die, High Priest, while Raja Ali reaps the benefits of your labor. With your guns, I shall restore the ancient kingdom of Tungmoy. Take Zimmerman's men outside and shoot them. Ah. Put these prisoners against the wall. You're not going to shoot us. In one moment. You need have no hope that any of your messages have gone through. I am an excellent wing shot, and carrier pigeons are my favorite target. So I discovered your hangs. It was I who barred the door to your secret passage. May I say it won't be necessary to dispose of any of these other people? I admit spying upon you, but they are not involved in any way. My dear Mr. Moto, their mere presence here involves them. Ready? Oh, Rajali, well, you're magnificent. I had no idea what a clever man I'm going to marry. The way you've handled this situation, the brilliance of your strategy, I'm so proud of you. Get over there with your friends. Will you please tell your soldiers to put down their guns? What? Shoot him! I should not advise such action. It would be very drastic if this torch should drop into the powder magazine. You can't.
man trick me. You wouldn't destroy yourself and your friends. It would be an excellent way of accomplishing the purpose for which I was sent here. You don't dare. Oh! Out the secret passage, quickly! been bothering me. Would you have married the Raja if we hadn't upset everything? Yeah, what do you think? Someday you're going to promise to marry somebody, he's going to make it stick. Listen, Marty, I'm uh, quitting the newsreel business. It's too tough. I've been talking to Mr. Moto about being his assistant. And my next case should prove very interesting indeed. What is it? There's a murderer. He has killed over about 37 people. Now he's reported to be hiding on a small but volcanic island as the honored guest of a tribe of headhunters. Shall we bring him back alive? Yes. Mm -hmm. 